Hi there and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I am taking you with me to Restoration Hardware. I love coming here. It's one of my favorite places to window shop, to look around, get inspiration, sometimes make a purchase only a couple times because the pieces there are a little bit expensive, but you definitely can get ideas for your decor. And I am in the market for bedroom furniture. And so I wanted to see what new in things that they had here, as well as some old favorites that I've had my eye on. I wanted to just go see how they styled them, how they all went together, the different shades of wood. So I'm really excited. I, of course, will probably go through the entire store and look at everything else. But I'm mostly there to get ideas for bedroom furniture. And I did want to look at their outside section. I don't always go to that area. But now that it's spring going into summer here in Vegas, it's the time when we're outside in the pool and eating dinner out on the patio by the pool. And I wanted to get some inspiration for how they create that ambiance out there because it all, it's always so dreamy out there. So come on with me. I hope you enjoy this video. And let's take one last sip of Diet Coke before we go in. So I love my Diet Coke, but the best way to have it is by the fountain. And so let's take a big swig. All right, let's go. Okay, so as soon as I pull up to Restoration Hardware and I walk up to the building, I'm already in love and I'm already feeling inspired. I just love coming here. The landscaping, the architecture, so beautiful. I love the hedges. Okay, we're on the first floor at Restoration and I'm already seeing their gorgeous, beautiful mirrors. And at least in the one in Las Vegas, the first floor is much more traditional type furniture, but obviously it's a modern twist, but they have much more modern furniture as you work your way up through the store. But okay, so that giant bird of paradise in the back. I actually just bought one of those for my house, a real one from Lowe's. But I'll show you at the end of the video. If you watch all the way to the end, I go up to the garden section and they have an amazing hack for those, which I thought was very creative. Okay, I love their lighting. I actually have a dupe for this style of light from Amazon that I will also link below. Their lights are beautiful. Just so the pricier side, that one you can definitely get a dupe for. So here we are to the first bedroom, which was why I came into the store, was to look at the bedroom furniture. And already the brass, the mirrors, the, the shagreen nightstand, I just love it. And I take a lot of notice in the rugs that they use, because I have similar floors to Restoration. And I like to see what kind of rugs they use, what shades. So th this style and this furniture, the tuft, it's a bit more traditional than my style, but I can still get inspiration for how they decorate. I love this big bowl with the mirror above it. I love the symmetry. So this works for any design style. I just love this style. And I've always loved their shelves. They're just grand and beautiful. Here's the infamous cloud sofa, which I actually sat in it and it's comfortable, but I have like a hard time getting out of it. It's so deep and cozy and a little bit messy. And these swivel chairs, they're all throughout the store, the style. I love those. I especially love the velvet material they come in, but they come in leather. You can get them in linen. They come in hundreds of different fabrics. Here's black and white, and I do love this style of nightstand. They have end tables and dressers all in this. I think it's like English something. 
oh, French contemporary, sorry, French, not English. And I love the dresser in this style, the nightstand. So this is one that I am interested in the style. This one, I love a canopy bed and it's beautiful and wood. I was just surprised at how low to the ground it was. I love the style, but it's way too low. Here I am looking at the rugs again and I just love their rugs. And I'm peeking down. I must have gone up the stairs at this point and just turned back around to show you the lights and the mirrors, so pretty. I love how, but I love how they put the lights above the mirror. Here's a beautiful brass light and their modern art. And I love the jute rug. So in my last video, I talked about my love-hate relationship with jute rugs. And I think I just have a bad jute rug. So I'm debating giving it another chance from a different company. Because I just love how it adds such a fun texture to these really modern spaces. It just really warms them up. And that was like a cashmere throw divine. And how they mix and match the linens is so beautiful. I love it. And a big piece of artwork above the bed. This is my Arvin Olano inspired rug show. If you watch him, he's amazing, he's hilarious, he has perfect, gorgeous tastes. I'll definitely link his channel below. He like dances and is hilarious. Here's my attempt at dancing. It's awful. If you know, you know, he's hilarious and a great dancer actually. So he's a hoop, give him a watch. I'm a pathetic dancer, but I attempted. Here's a leather section, a leather sectional. Their leather is so soft and sumptuous. It's so nice. So, and all of these couches come in all the fabrics. Here I'm trying to dance again. I should stop. Now this bedroom scene really inspired me. This is kind of how I foresee my bedroom. The jute rug, the nice fluffy cloud bed. Maybe not in white for me, just they just get so dirty. But the end tables, the big fiddly fig tree, the beautiful linens, I love that. And then a side chair. So this is kind of the style I'm envisioning for my bedroom. Maybe like do a darker bed and lighter furniture. I'm happy to flip those around, but definitely have some high contrast. I love that kind of look. I always touch the drawers and see how, how well made they feel. That one felt kind of flimsy, I remember. So this one I noticed the rug was kind of in a gray blue family, but the linens were kind of a tan warm and they're all still very neutral, but I like that play of kind of the warm and cool. And then they have the brass details and it just works so well together. And the walls are kind of a taupey cooler color. So you can play with warm and cold. And here's another black and white with wood right up my alley. I love it. The big art. Okay, those were kind of cool acrylic chairs. I didn't get a good visual of that, but those are kind of interesting. And this chair, this couch was so deep, I sat in it and I felt like Alice in Wonderland when she like shrinks down into the blades of grass. It was just so big. I'll actually come back to that couch in a minute. But um, I love their bathroom scenes that they have, or what do they call them, their, their little displays. And our bathrooms are being constructed right now. They're in remodel and 
we're kind of going for a similar style as that. Oh, I'm admiring the tall ceilings with those white curtains and the pleating. I loved that. And this is kind of a RH signature, like a big credenza, a mirror, and then two lights on the side. They do that a lot in all the different styles, but that's kind of a go-to styling. I'm admiring the big fiddle leaf fig. I didn't go over and touch it to see if it's real or not. I think they sell faux ones, but at least up in the garden center, which I'll go to in a little bit, they had real plants outside, so I'm not sure what was in here. Okay, these are the shelves that I have in my family room, and I absolutely love them. They are gorgeous. They're solid wood, so I highly recommend them. Okay, here I am back at that. Alice in Wonderland couch. I actually got on the ground to look. If you see, that goes all the way across, that metal. And I was curious if there was a support in the middle underneath, and there isn't, which I was surprised by. So I wonder if there's a weight limit on that. It made me nervous to like sit in the middle of it, that it would bend the metal. But I guess they felt confident enough in the materials that they used. So here's more of their modern art. I love their artwork that they have, just simple and minimal. And something I loved, all the signs said, please touch the art, which I loved that. Because usually like a museum, it's don't touch the art, don't feed the birds, but they want you to get up close and observe their art and touch it and feel the texture. I thought that was kind of fun. And I like that white couch, a bit more manageable than the cloud couch, which gets so messy. And again, I'm not sure I'd ever do white, but I love a white couch, just how it looks. But those are some, I think someone is so daring that chooses white. And this actually is a different painting. They do their stores pretty symmetrical. Well, they'll change a few of the things, but sometimes I go in circles in the store. Like, did I go over here? Because sometimes they're mirrored images. But I was just feeling so inspired by the bedroom furniture and the artwork. I love this mixture of that marble, but then kind of a pattern on the rug. I thought that was really pretty and all still neutral. And this gorgeous light. Okay, here I head up to the garden center and I turned off the sound to the store because of music that they had playing. But when you came up here, you could hear the fountains running and it was just so calm. I was the only one up here. There weren't even any workers up here, so at least that I saw. So it was so tranquil and calm. And just so pretty. And as we're going into spring, summer, it, getting me inspired to do my backyard as well. Okay, here's the little trick that I saw. So that was a real plant and that is a faux plant. So they have a real giant bird of paradise, but they mixed in faux plants with it, which I thought was so clever because it made it really full and really tall. And because part of it was real, you'd never suspect that there were faux parts to it. But if it had been all that faux, it would have definitely looked fake. But because there was the real, you wouldn't question the fake, if that makes sense. So I thought that was clever. I'm not sure I would do that, but it was a clever idea. I liked that. I like this tablescape, just simple. And you can get lanterns like that at Target. You could do that really inexpensively with the table that you already have. I love their huge planters and they're growing up the poles of the awnings. And there's the Las Vegas mountains. They have this beautiful jasmine that smelled so beautiful. And these sago palms and the planters, just so serene and beautiful. So that's my tour of Restoration Hardware. Thank you so much for coming along with me. And I'll close out here with this beautiful Restoration Hardware mirror. And I'll catch you in my next video. Bye-bye.